Richard of doomedmoviethon.com and this is another episode of my horror shelfie Halloween edition my horror shelfie is where I pull movies from my shelves from A to Z and talk about them all of them so let's continue with the bees because the bees will not end <laughs> I'm gonna pick some movies. God, Halloween, Halloween, stop, 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 stop it. Halloween. For the first film tonight, today, tomorrow, is Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. One of my favorite Hammer horror films because it's so strange, so offbeat. Highly recommend Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. Gotta look at the box now. Valerie Leon. That's all you need to know. I thought this was a Halloween show. Why are you bringing up Thanksgiving shit, bro? Don't the holidays come fast enough? Blood Rage is a Thanksgiving slasher filmed in Florida. It's great. I'm in Florida. That's also great. I could have saved this for a box set special, you know, when I finish bees, but I'm never going to finish bees ever because there's so many bees. Uh, Blood Trilogy. I have seen two out of the three movies on this, though it's been a very long time. Uh, my buddy Scott of EuroCultAV.com sent me this as a little gift because he cares about my blood. The infamous Blood Feast, hilarious. 2000 Maniacs, better film? Also hilarious. Color Me Blood Red, I've still never seen that one. Ooh, I'll have a link, maybe, to my blog so you can read about me being traumatized by that VHS cover. Bloodbath at the House of Death. Did I say that right? I think I did. Uh, this is a comedy film with a comedic actor named Kenny Everett with Vincent Price and Pamela Stevenson. Now, I saw this movie as a kid on TV. I caught just a little bit of it and it scared me. I had no idea this was supposed to be a comedy. And I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but I have seen the trailer, and my god, there is no reason why I should have not known this was a huge comedy. How did this scare me? I have no clue. I think I was like seven or eight. I must have been the dumb dumb. Holy curse words and expletives, folks. Bloody moon. Bloody Effin darn moon. This is essential Euro slasher crapola, and I mean crapola in a total compliment. You need to see this. I'm getting excited, sorry. You need to see this if you haven't seen this already. Make it your plan. One warning, there is some animal violence in it. This has some serious animal violence in it. One scene, one shot, lingers on the shot. It's not cool, man, but if you hate snakes, you'll love that scene. I love this movie so much that I can forgive the animal violence? I don't know, man. I'm conflicted. I just love Bloody Moon. We covered this on the podcast ages ago, and it is a classic episode. No, we talked about a classic film. There are no classic episodes of Hello, This is the Doom Show. For our last pick for today or tonight, cares. I don't know when you watch stuff. Brad and Elizabeth. Bollywood Horror Collection Volume 1. Bollywood Horror Collection Volume 2, both from Mondo Macabro. I have seen two out of these four films, and uh, they are insane. If you're not hip, 
with the frickin' Bollywood horror, you are missing out. They're long. They tend to introduce an entire new cast of characters about two hours in for no reason. Uh, there's always musical numbers. Always musical numbers. If that's not something you can handle, I pity you. Why would you not want that in a horror movie? <laughs> Do you want to know more about Bollywood horror? Well, my friends, pick up this book by Tim Paxton. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. WK Books. Don't play. <laughs> so happy Halloween. From doomedmoviethon.com and myself. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Brad and Elizabeth, my buds, this episode is dedicated to you. I better go. Bye. DoomedMovieThon.com is my website dedicated to movie marathons, uh, reviews, it's fun, it's very profitable, um, I get 20 million hits. There's also my blog, Cinemas and Namulist. I'm also the host of Hello, This is the Doom Show. That's a podcast with my friends, uh, Jeffrey, Brad, and Simon. I'm also the author of Giallo Meltdown, a moviethon diary. That's a book uh, where I talk about my Giallo movie marathons. Very proud of that book. You should check it out. I'm also the author of Cinema Somnambulist, a uh, book that is basically the uh, paper version, this is paper, of my uh, blog. I'm really proud of that one too. Gosh, I'm proud. I'm also the editor and even a contributor, contributor to Fang of Joy, a uh, Fang of Joy fanzine. It's a Euro horror and giallo zine. Um, always have a new issue out. I'm also in a band called Gyrojets. That's right, Gyrojets. And we are Tampa's premier realistic music band. So if you look right here at my finger point, you'll see You're Never Nothing. You're Never Nothing is our album that we made all by ourselves because we're grandiose types. It has a song on it about Anne the Babysitter from Lucio Fulci's classic House by the Cemetery. We also have Hallowed Friends. Hallowed Friends is our Halloween EP. It's full of songs about gay werewolves and Laurie Strode, because that's what gyro jets are due. So go to the Doom Movieathon store, there's lots of stuff for sale there. All those sales will contribute to the site and help this channel and help uh, my world, which is not crumbling. <laughs> the rumors aren't true. 